are you today? I am just finished up doing a live haul video and in that live haul I showed that I picked up a big giant jewelry bag. Oh, 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 good luck charm. Here we go. Gotta get the good luck charm. I found a good luck charm today. And a lot of times I think good luck charms have to be given or found. So says I. So I found this little ducky. Look at it. It looks like a little pencil topper. But I found this little duck and um, it reminded me of the duck song and I will link the duck song for your listening pleasure. Um, so yeah, this will be our good luck charm for today's haul. I won't leave it right there. But if I find, here's what I decided just this very second. If I find anything really amazing, gold or silver, then I will give the little ducky away as a good luck charm to pass the good luck on to you guys. Okay, little ducky, you get to sit right there. Okay, Okay. so this is one thing that's in there. It's cross, um, and of course I didn't think it was, it is magnetic. And what I'll do with things that I don't want is I'll make like a crafter's lot and sell it. There's a little funky bangle. I'm gonna have to do that number now. I see why people do that. So it's this weird little funky bangle with colorful stuff. It's not magnetic, but I don't think it's gold at all. It feels like tin or something, plasticky painted -y stuff. We'll put it to the side though. Oh my We've got this Timex. Indiglo watch, which feels super duper cheap. Somebody's hair thingy. That's not going anywhere but the trash. Come on, little ducky, do your stuff. And then here's another weird looking vintage clip on, like that. Like this weird little flower thing. Alrighty, some wood. I mean, and the last one I did, someone said, oh yeah, th this would be good for, you know, you can label it as like vegan jewelry, wooden jewelry, somebody likes this kind of thing. I don't think it's a huge seller, but maybe I could lot some of it up like that. Another random, it's broken too. That one's broken too. Wow, here's some other earrings, okay. Oh, this is kind of cool. Look at that. That's a cute little bracelet, it's all beaded. And it, you know, puts on like so. I think that'll do well. That's kind of pretty. What do you think? I think that's pretty. There. Pretty. Pretty little thing. Okay, that's good. I think we'll get our money back out of this. What did I probably spend on it? Like 30 bucks? Here's some weird... These are some earrings. They're just, yeah. Super magnetic. And then this is a watch. So this watch says Gucci on it. It even has it on the back. Does that mean it's Gucci? No. Does it mean it's not Gucci? Probably. <laughs> Probably not. My guess is that, I mean, you can see it in the, in the, the watch, if you see the stamp on it, it's not uniform. It doesn't look like the stamp was pressed in uniformly. Like one side, like this side is way more defined than the other. And I'm fairly certain that a Gucci, plus it's upside down, like from this, that, that may not be a thing, but I think it might be. So here it's this way, but then over here, you would think, and you just flip it over, and now it's like the other way, unless you flip it that way. But anyway, I seriously, seriously doubt that this is a real Gucci watch. Anyway, <laughs> little bangle, I mean, the little stretchy bracelets. What else have we got in here? Another little stretchy is um, some kind of sort of charm bracelet with beads on the other side. Totally, totally crazy magnetic. More bangles that I will, yep, magnetic. So here's some more earrings. Woozas, yeah. I guess they're not that much bigger than mine, but they're pretty big. Okay, those are magnetic. There's some more, is that tied onto that? Oh, that is. What is that? Sort of a necklace, I guess. Weird. Or you tie it around and around. I don't know. And then here's this leather strap type bracelet that's got a ball kind of hooked through. I think that, that'll sell by itself. 
I mean, not a ton of money, but I think it will. It's a nice, it's small. Ooh, it's small. Okay, so there's that. Then this sort of broken, sort of broken, this green, broken bunch of beads. So here we have got a tangled necklace. So that's kind of cool. I think that'll do well. It's a, I don't, let me see, if I find the clasp on it. I mean, it's got that sort of Monet costume jewelry look to it. I don't think it is though. The finishings are not that, not as nice as all that. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See how these are connected together? I mean, this little bit there is not, I don't know how to describe it. It's just kind of clamped. It's not really super nicely finished, but I still think you know, that, that that could go, that could go for, you know, maybe 12 or 15 bucks, maybe more. Maybe not that much more though. But for somebody who's like a professional woman, and she's wearing her business suit, and she's going to a power meeting, and she wants to look like she's got on a gold poker. I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, this is fun. This is like those clay beads, but they're like the Union Jack. I think that'll sell. I think that's fun. Woohoo! Stretchy! I like it, I like it. That's colorful. Colorful! Here's the mate to that weirdo thing. That that earring that was, there you are. Right? Somebody's gonna like that, and I just noticed some writing on the back. So let me see. Aha! Those are super vintage. So yeah, these clip-on earrings are marked Western Germany. So they are quite vintage. I don't know if they need to be cleaned up. Maybe that's just the color they are. So I don't know if I can clean them up. They've got this sort of faded blue periwinkle color to them, but cool. Those are vintage. Vintage cool. All right, here comes another bangle. I am a sucker for bangles, but it is magnetic. And here is another little bracelet. Ooh, ooh, okay. Now the clasp part is mag, hmm, is it? It's got a little bit of a pull to it, but it's kind of pretty. That is a T90 little bracelet though. Look at it, it's still pretty. It's a pretty little thing and it's tiny. I wonder if this is like a little girl's bracelet. I'm gonna see if I can get it on my wrist. And I have small wrists. Well, yeah, that's well, cute. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's like naming a puppy. Naming that frog before you eat it. Don't do it. Look, it fits me, fits me. It's cute. It's like so dainty, like a dainty little thing. Okay, okay, okay. Take it off, take it off. It's going in my to sell pile. And then there's a little Minions watch from Despicable Me, not working, but maybe it just needs a new battery. Maybe I can lot up all the watches. Oh, hey, good luck charm. Double horseshoes. I have a thing for horseshoes, by the way. Did you know that? You may not have known that. I have a thing for horseshoes. Yep, they are slightly magnetic. So, what I'm going to do is these will be by themselves because people like me like horseshoes and they're gonna want horseshoes as a lucky charm, right? Funky, another funky earring. If I find the mate, this one might actually do well because it is that funky weird. Kind of looks like a pineapple. Pineapple princess. They call me Pineapple Princess all day as she plays ukulele on the hill of Poke Bay. Holy smokes, this is so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna show you. This brooch is, is one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time. Look at this brooch. That is worth the price of admission right there. Is it gold? No. Is it silver? No. Diamonds and jewels? No. But have you ever seen a brooch that looks like this. That is magnificent right there. That is a piece of art. There is a mark there, but I cannot read it. It is super, super blurry. It's almost like a joke. Like there's no way somebody's gonna read it, you know? It's so unique, right? Super unique. Okay, let's move on. Next up is another watch, just like a random watch. Some red, these kind of red beads. I mean, they look, they're vintage, but I don't think they're anything 
You you guys will tell me though. I, I frequently am wrong. And then somebody in the chat or the comments will say, oh, those are something really cool. And I didn't know. <laughs> Alrighty, and then here's another Timex watch the band, it says. I don't know, it's in pretty rough shape. And then we've got this big old long necklace. It's interesting. I mean, is it really that interesting? Anyway, long, weird, twisty necklace. I mean, if you're wearing long with your power suit, walking like that. I keep looking up here, I'm sorry. But I'm looking to see that it's focusing for you. It's kind of like this mesh metal. I think it'll sell though. I think it'll sell. If I sell it right, if I put enough sail on it, and I'm just taking, let's just say I'm gonna take these feathers and put the feathers to the side. Because feathers just, no. No. Put those over there. And then there's this bangle. There's a couple of them like this. What do you make of that? They're like this little bangly. This might actually sell on like a local garage sale site. I mean, I can always do that like with, you know, for put a little bangly lot together, you know, for like a kid dress up, whatever, you know. So that's, that's another option too. So yeah, that might go on like a local garage sale site. These ones are missing some charms off of them. This one is still working. It's a little Disney Frozen bright, um, watch. Now, will I put this up on eBay? But no, but locally on a local mommy garage sale site, that might do well, you know. I know just like a few bucks, but you know, it all adds up. A few bucks here. More bangles. Where's the rest of those bangles? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna lot up those little bangles and make a, a fun little bangle lot. So here we've got one of those surfer type shell necklaces that they like to wear. I've never sold anything like this before, so I'm not sure. I'll put it in my maybe pile. I mean, I feel like they're a dime a dozen though, aren't they? Here's another little lot of just bracelets that I'll put together to sell. And here we've got a stretchy pink one. There's a fleur de lis on it. And so that goes in. Some of the stones are missing from that little fleur de lis, so. Then this is a strange. I don't even know what to make of this thing. What does that say? What does that say? I guess I need to look it up. Let me look real fast. S A N D R N E Grand Pair. Okay, I'm looking it up. This crazy looking thing look at this necklace that i just showed you that i'm like what is this what the what the what is going on with this thing and i'm looking at the tag or the little this and it looks like sandrine grand paris and so i was like okay i honest to goodness when i first saw this i thought it was messed up bent up and I was gonna put it in the pile to go. Let me show you what I found on my phone, you guys. Here we've got some of these Sandrine Grand necklaces, bendable sculptural necklaces, and they are going for one, this one is $149.99, one is $399.99. Let me do sold, filter, sold items. I mean, there's a couple of solds, but there it's like 69. That one's 41, that's a bracelet. <laughs> I'm gonna let you know what else I find out about this. Okay, so that's a score that I was totally not expecting. Sometimes it's not about finding the gold. Sometimes it's about finding designers, Paris designer necklaces. Here we've got this pink pearly bead necklace um, that I will probably sell all by itself. This one is another one that's a clip-on vintage. It's not silver, but it's cool. It's different. Here we've got a swatch. That's awesome. A cool swatch watch with some flip-flops on it. That's nice. It's not working, but I can see about getting it working or if it's worth it or if it's just worth it to sell as is. But it's really cool with flip-flops on it, very summery, cute, swatch, love it. I don't know, it may just be a big red watch. 
with rubbery bands. What does it say? Japanese movements. I don't see any name on the back. I don't see any name on the front either. So that's going in the pile of not doing anything with it. Here is another, this is a magnetic bracelet with an infinity on it. I'd be afraid that would come off and I'd lose it. And then this is another bracelet, kind of a snake style. I am certain there's a word for this pattern. Um, it's sort of the snake serpentine style. It is, it is magnetic, but it's so cool that I think that it would still sell on its own. So this is going into my pile to sell. And then this, ooh, that's a pretty cool choker. You know, you can put a charm on it. It is magnetic, but I still think I will be able to sell it because it's like industrial, like heavy duty, you know? And you can just put whatever you want on it. I think it'll, I think, I think I could still get a good 10 or 15 bucks out of that. Another fun, chunky, stretchy bracelet. <gasps> no, it's not marked, but it's the same. This has the same finishings as this one. It does not have the tag for it though. So I've got to see like, oh my gosh, I have two of them. Wouldn't that be awesome? I mean, if it was like 50 bucks or something, right? I'm gonna put that over there. We'll see, we'll see. <gasps> Yay! Okay, and then here is, this is kind of cool. It's sort of a deco style and it's a scarf clip, but I like it. It's really simple, kind of art deco-y. That's gonna go over here on my pile. Another wooden earring. Maybe I'll lot it up with that necklace. If I find the mate, I can do like the earrings and the necklace together. If I find the mate, then I can have earrings and necklace and make a little, a little lot with it. Got this giant pin flower brooch. That's pretty awesome. And then here's a, an interesting bangle that someone has wire wrapped with looks like copper wire and beads. I'll probably just put it with the rest of the bangles for a fun little bangle lot. I'm gonna pull out what is in this bag. Little like shiny, crystally rhinestone thing. The pendant is not magnetic. The jump ring is, the chain is not. I'm gonna put the chain um, to be tested for silver because the chain may be silver. It's tarnished like silver. So there's a possibility there that it might be silver. I have the mate for you. We got a match. They're not marked. They're just pretty. And then this necklace, it's not magnetic. It's interesting. It's kind of got swirl, silver, and kind of a gray. MD28V. So I see this. Whoop. Something similar to this. Vintage 23 inch 925 sterling silver triple chain necklace mex MD28V $30 because it's kind of like twisted. I'm looking on sold, I don't see a whole lot. So, this is a funky big chain bracelet with a magnetic closure, like so. That's kind of cool. Somebody's gonna like that. Pull it, that's a strong magnet too. Woo, wonder if I could take it as a jewelry magnet. I could wear that to a garage sale and t like just have to stick my hand into the, into the jewelry to see what's magnetic or not. A little pendant. What would you do with that one? I'm kind of back and forth. It's really pretty. Okay, how about this? We'll do one of those pulls. I'm gonna pop a pull up. You tell me what you would do. Would you sell this individually or would you put it like in a jewelry lot to just go? Cause I can't decide. We got another little, we, it's kind of weird though. These look like rocks. <laughs> They're not like uniform circles. So some of them are kind of spherical, but some of them are kind of rock shaped. They're not magnetic, but they don't feel at all like silver. It's very strange. I don't know what to think of those. I don't know what to make of those. Okay, oh, this is cool. Okay, here we go. 
This is another bracelet. It looks like two arrows, kind of, that they come like so, and then there's a little button that clips them together. Like that. That's really neat. I like that. Okay, so this cool bracelet is not magnetic. I will now see if I see any markings on it. That's just really cool. That's unusual. I'm also looking for signs of chipping away at the gold tone. Like with age, which I don't see. But I don't see any markings either. But as you guys know, just because there's not any markings doesn't mean anything. If you, I just posted that um, where I tested the gold and there were two pieces in there that were not marked. There were some earrings that ended up being gold. Um, so yeah, just because it's not marked doesn't mean anything. So I'm gonna test that. It's so unusual. I just love it, that's so cool. So here we've got a pendant and it's some kind of like jaguar. That's pretty cool. So it's missing stones, but I still think it's cool enough to sell, even with the stones missing. So I'm gonna put it in my pile to sell. That's really cool. It's like holding it through the middle, poor little kitty. <laughs> That's something, it's so unusual, it's so unusual. All right, another earring. And th if I find the mate for this, I'll probably sell it because I don't think this is a color that you come across very often. Look at how it shines, that's really. And there's sort of a gradient to it as well. I don't know if it's picking up in the camera, but it's darker towards the bottom than towards the top. Rainbow, wooden bead. I might try to sell this one. I think it's funky enough. Like on Etsy, somebody's gonna eat that up, right? I've got a bigger stack of things I can sell. Okay, here's those. Again, just some costume jewelry ones that I'll put probably on a local site, local garage sale site. A couple bucks. Okay, what do you think about this one? I, I'm Like this for me is one of those things that is not my style. But I'm wondering, do people buy this? I mean, it's pretty, I'll give you that. It's got that pretty blue, green. Maybe I just give it a try. Maybe I try to sell it and see how it does. Because it is pretty, but it's one of those like, so not my style. Wow, I'm doing really well. <laughs> Here's some big ginormous hearts. The mates are there, thank heavens. I will sell those. Those are big. Funky. Hopefully somebody buys them. Look at that. Woo! Those are some big ones. Okay. Okay, so here's the mate for this one. Yay. My little yellow ones. I still don't, I mean, I'll, I'll put them up. They're, they won't go for much. They're not that amazing. This is an interesting little ring. It looks vintage. I mean, the stone in it is like, just looks like it's pasted in, like glued in. But then the side bits look like six shooters? Or is it a rose? What is that? Is it magnetic? That's the first question. Is it? It is not magnetic. <laughs> it's probably some little tin. It reminds me of when Cracker, ja Cracker Jacks used to have actual toys or actual prizes, you know? It reminds me of like a ring that you would have gotten out of the Cracker Jacks box. So just because of that, I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> Cause it might be like ancient Cracker Jacks prize. And then here's another cool pin. Um, just silver brooch with some flowers. I don't see a maker's mark on it. Okay, here's, a, here's an interesting little fish. This little fish looks like just a thing, right? But then if you flip him, it has this uh, weird clasp and some markings. Let me see if I can get you to see those. What do you suppose is this little fish's story? I got nothing. Anybody? Anybody? Can you see this little T9C little ring? This one is stamped inside. Let me go in. She's going in. 
I am feeling fairly certain this is a little silver ring. The markings inside are really rubbed out. So these ones are mated up now, yay. Good news, good news. Here's, ooh. All right. This little butterfly is silver and I got money. I got money on it being James Avery. Here it goes. Yes, indeedy. I hope that mate's in there. That is a James Avery sterling silver earring. I'm going to see if I find the mate. Haha. -ha. Booyah. There they are. James Avery sterling silver. And these ones are retired, little retired butterfly earrings. Sweet. So now let's finish up this. I'm sure. This is very long, but I've got a lot of really good stuff, so I'm excited. So there's been a few things that I just kind of put to the side, some bits of chain that were magnetic, pendants, there's three of them that have these stones in them. That'll end up in the lot for like costume jewelry. I'll do like a costume jewelry for crafters lot. Um, and again, little bits, little bits of this, little bits of that. Now this one, this, is, this little necklace is kind of a mystery. It may end up getting tested. Um, the little triangles are not mag are magnetic, and the fixing is magnetic, but the chain part is not, and it's tarnished like silver. And where I know it's not a lot of silver, there's another chain here that I had that was the same way. Like if it's silver, it's not a lot of silver, but this is my thinking. You find a penny, you pick it up. All day long it brings good luck, right? And one penny, you put it in your pot, and then you throw the next penny in, and the next penny, and the next penny, and the next thing you know, you've got 500 pennies, you know? So, which is still only $5, but it's $5, right? So, um, I don't sneeze at tiny amounts because they all start rolling together to add up. And then here we've got another one, this little chain. It's very, very, very tarnished. It is marked, so this chain is marked 925 Italy. Very, very, very tarnished, so it will go with my silver. This little ring, it looks turquoisey on silver. <laughs> There's no marking, and then on the back you can see where the ring has been affixed to the front of it. It's got that like coppery looking patina. So I don't know, I mean, super vintage, I think, for sure. So I, I'll probably list it, maybe as is. But you can see the green around this. Maybe I'll clean it up. Tell me what you think, tell me what you think. So that's good. I mean, unfortunately, there are quite a number of earrings that the mates were not there. They're so cool, it's such a bummer. <laughs> such a bummer, man. Um, next, there are these two, I'm gonna show you. This chain, it's like a Rolo type chain. The, it's broken, and it was in a baggie. It was in like a little, this kind of baggie. And honestly, it looks like, okay, so James Avery has quite a few different options on different types of chains, and it kind of looks like one of the chains that they have but the clasp is gone. So what I'm going to do is, is test it for its um, silver content um, because, I keep saying uh, uh, because that would be a hefty amount of silver right there. It is not magnetic again, but I will let you know. I will let you know. And because I found James Avery already, it, it made me curious. Now here, here's a bit. It, it, it's in a little organza type pouch. It says something, Friedman. And it's got these little gold loopy hoops. Loopy hoops, they're very light. They're very, very lightweight. I mean, they almost feel plastic, but they are marked. They're marked JCM925. I, I don't even know what to make of them because they don't even feel metal. Like, they feel straight up plastic, straight up. Straight up costume jewelry, yo. So yeah, even though they're marked 925 JCM, 
Where? I could be wrong. I'm new to that. That's new to me. Okay, last. Pretty much last. Ooh, I like this. This is pretty. Lastly, there's a vintage watch. There, it's, it says Jubilee inside of it and 17 jewels. Yep, 17 jewels. Jubilee 17 jewels watch. Um, and again, I don't know anything about it, but maybe there's a vintage watch collector that, maybe there's a vintage watch collector that would like it. So there's that. Um, and then leftovers, I've got like a bag full of broken bits and beads and so yeah, I what I will do is sell my big giant pile, <laughs> lot up some of the things that I, like some of the bangles onto a local garage sale site and then the rest do like a crafter's lot of broken jewelry bits and mismatched earrings and this, I, I, this is my biggest bummer. I wish, I wish, I wish the mate for this one was there because it's, it's so cool. Like, I almost wish I could have it, right? I think I would wear them. I... Okie dokie, so that's the, the, that's the haul. And honest to goodness, my pile of keep is bigger than my pile of let go, which is a big surprise for me because I really thought it wouldn't, I didn't think it was gonna do that well. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Yeah, so tell me in the comments below what your favorite thing from the jewelry bag haul was, and we'll see about the lucky duck swimming its way to bring you good luck. Quack. And again, check out the duck song because it's amazing. Yay, okay, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Go out and enjoy yourselves, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.